pooping. Are you doing it wrong? Now this might sound like a joke, but I find that most people don't know much about doing the do. They don't know what a good one looks like, let alone how to have one. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the scoop on how to have a great Did your doctor ever talk to you about your poop? Or did your mom ever bring it up? Well, the answer is probably no. But Mama Natural is going there because I think it's an important component of our health. So in this video, I'm going to give you five tips on how to have a great poop. Number one, eat a healthy diet. Now this goes without saying, but we want to be sure we're eating real healthy foods with lots of plant fiber. Shoot for nine servings of leafy greens, root and cruciferous vegetables, and fresh fruit a day. If you throw in some properly prepared grains, you are good to go. Now nuts and seeds are a wonderful addition, but if you have bowel pain or are prone to diarrhea, it's best to pass on those. Be sure to also include lots of healthy fats. This helps to keep the whole system lubricated. I'm talking about avocados, olives, raw butter, coconut oil, and so forth. And don't forget, ample protein keeps those bowel muscles strong and functioning. So some good sources include wild fish and seafood, pastured and organic meats, eggs, raw and organic dairy. Tip number two, position. Position for pooping? For reals? Yes, the way you sit on a toilet is super important. Now, if you think about it, toilets are a relatively new invention for humankind. In fact, sitting on a toilet by itself is actually not an ideal way to take a poop. When a person sits on a toilet, the rectum is forced into a kinked position. Now, this can cause us to strain in order to eliminate. This strain exerts pressure on the anal and rectal veins, which can cause hemorrhoids, bowel herniation, and other illnesses associated with the lower digestive tract. Now, anatomically, humans are intended to squat when eliminating, and they've done this since the dawn of time. In fact, more than half of the world's population today still squats when they go poo. But most of us have Western or sitting toilets in our home. So what are we supposed to do? Get rid of them? Well, no but we can optimize the way we sit on them. The key is we want to elevate our legs to recreate a squatting position. Now you can do this by simply using a little waste basket or better yet, a stool. For the longest time we used our toddler's little step stool, but we now use a stool from Step and Go that tucks under the potty when you're not using it. Pretty schnazzy, huh? They also make a white version. I'll have a link to Step and Go in the video description below. Tip number three, timing. Now this might sound silly, but make time to poop every day. In our fast paced, busy world, we wake up probably to a child crying and we're off and running from the minute our feet hit the floor and we're not setting aside time to poop. So give yourself 15 minutes every morning to do it. Now for most of us, when we get in the bathroom, we get ourselves comfortable, it won't take us that long. It'll be fast and easy. But for those that struggle with chronic constipation, this can be a great way to train your body to poop every morning. Tip number four, exercise. Leading a sedentary life can be hazardous to our health and to our poops. If you wanna get things moving, you gotta get moving. Exercise helps relieve constipation because it stimulates the muscles and nerves in the gut to work better. The bowels respond even more when you're in a consistent exercise routine and doing it at the same time each day, according to the University of Michigan. It can be as simple as walking every day, taking a bike ride, or doing a little yoga. And tip number five, drink fluids, particularly water. Hydration is very important when it comes to bowel movements. Water moves everything along in our system. In fact, the large intestine needs water to form our stool, and stool itself is made up of 75% water. And studies show that those who are well hydrated are less likely to struggle with constipation. So be sure to get your H2O. So there are five tips on how to have a great poop. Now let's talk about what a great poop looks like. That will be in my companion video, link in the video description below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up because this helps us spread the word to other natural mamas out there. Now just so you know, we do two videos a week. On Tuesday, they're usually like this, some kind of natural health tip or trick. And on Thursday, we have our weekly vlog called In Real Life. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of these videos and we'll catch you next time.